Hello, in this video, we'll continue building the login system. In the last video, we implemented the confirm account logic to the UI. Now we'll implement the sign in logic and transition the user to another level on a successful login. Open the Unreal Engine project, then create a new level. Save the current level and name it Game Level. Now open the login menu. Go to the graph mode. Grab a reference to the sign in button. and attach a click event to it. Then connect the bind event node from the confirm button with the sign in button bind event node. When we click on the sign in button, we want to execute the Lambda that handles the sign-ins. To do this, we need to make an HTTP request to the API. Call the make a HTTP request node. Select post for the method since the request to sign-in is a post request in API Gateway. For the URL, we can get it from the other nodes. Replace confirm with sign in since that's what we call it in API Gateway. The params and headers will also be the same as the others so we can copy them as well. For the body, the same JSON object structure can be used from the sign up request. Replace the sign up email reference with sign in email. Do the same for the sign up password by replacing it with sign in password. Now add the callback. Click and hold on it, then drag on an empty spot. Select add event, then add custom event. Select all the nodes for this section and give it a name. Since the response we get is in a similar structure as the sign up one, we can do the same thing to determine if the login was successful. Copy the switch to sign in widget section. and paste it after the sign-in callback. Delete set active widget index. To test this, we want to transition to the game level when we get the 200 status code. Call open level by object reference Then select the game level from the dropdown. Select the new nodes and give it a name. Compile and save. Open the project settings. Then select Maps and Modes on the menu on the left. 
For the startup map, select login level. Do the same for the game default map. Now close the project settings window and open the login level. Then launch the app and sign in. As you can see, the level has changed on a successful login. That's all for this series. You learn how to create a Cognito user pool and then create your own API using API Gateway to execute Lambda functions for the login page. You also learn how to search and navigate through the AWS documentation so you can add on to what is done for more advanced operations. Another thing you should keep in mind is that the sign-in request comes with a few important properties like the access and ID tokens, which are used when executing the other operations. If you find this helpful, give the video a like, share, and subscribe to support the channel.